Now then YouTube, in this video we're going to be taking a walk on the moors, starting at Leveson Station, walking through the valley along the North Yorkshire Moors Railway. A bit of luck, we'll see a couple of steam trains. And we'll go head up the side of the valley, up onto the top of the moors, take a walk down to Skelton Tower and back down to Levisham. Stay tuned. I'll see you down there. So just a quick look at the map. We're on OL27 map. We're going to start here at Leveson Station. And we park in the car park here where you can leave a donation. Come out of the station car park and turn left. Go over the crossing and then follow this track. Keep the railway on your right. So follow the follow the path all the way up. Along this way, up towards Kale Pot Hall, past Gallic Hill. Keep following the the road with the railway on your right. Heading towards Newtondale Halt, signpost here for Newtondale Halt, drop in, visit the station, once you're finished visiting the station and having a picnic or having a breather, come back on yourself slightly and you come underneath the railway through the little underpass. Turn left, there's a, there's a sign there, through a stile, following the river on your right to get to a little footbridge. Go over that footbridge, through the woods, up the steep incline onto the top of the moors. Get to the top of the moors, you turn right, and then whereas on the way up you were keeping the railway on your right, you get to the top, you carry on keeping the railway on your right, but you're obviously above it now. Follow one of the many paths on the moors, they all go the same way. Come down this way, you'll start to see Skeleton Tower in the distance. Keep heading towards the tower on the well, on any one of the footpaths. Come round, really good viewpoints from here, you can see all the way up the railway. Once you leave Skeleton Tower, Carry on in the same direction. You'll see, you'll see the gate come come down, come downhill, down to the railway, up both ways, over the foot crossing, and then back the way we came in into Leveson Station. Turn right back into the car park. Right, there's a quick run through on base camp. We're at Leveson Station. We're going to park the car, come up the car park, turn left over the level crossing, follow this path round. Keeping the railway, that's the railway track there, keeping that on our right. All the way up Newtondale Forest Drive. There's a little footbridge, some steps here in a footbridge. We kick, we come back down then when we've finished our loop. Past them, carry on going straight on. Again, keeping the railway on your right hand side. Keep going straight. Path bears away from the railway slightly. Carry on Newton Forest Drive. Can't really go wrong if you keep the railway on your right. Follow it round. Mm -hmm. 
So you get to the sign here, a bit of junction, finger sign pointing right, go into Newton Dale Holt. You can see where we've been into the station, looking for trains and having a picnic. You come back on yourself slightly. There's a stile here. You go over the stile under the underpass, turn left when you get out. Follow the path of the river on your right, over the little bridge, up through the woods, up some steps and another stile, up to the top of the moor. Follow this path here, ignore this bit, this is where I went to have a look at where the, um, the moor was on fire. Just follow the footpath, you can see how you're 180 metres up there. Keeping the railway on your right, and you can see our inbound path there, so it's just one big long oval. Follow any footpath you want, keeping yourself close to the edge. So you come across the gate that will take you down. Sorry, we go to Skeleton Tower first. Zoom out a bit. As soon as you can see Skeleton Tower, just keep heading for that. Best viewpoints are from that area. As you finish the Skeleton Tower, keep heading the same way. See the gate. Walk down the tracks to the another gate at the bottom. Cross the railway, turn left. Head back on yourself down Newtondale Drive back into Leversham Station car park. Right, we'll see you down there. Morning! Good morning! We've parked up at Leversham Station. I'm out with Johnny today and we're off up to the moors. So we'll see you in a bit. You've seen two steam trains there. Johnny knows loads about these trains, so in a minute I'm going to get him to tell you all about them. There's Skelton Tower up on the hill. View of the moors. Follow this track. Where Johnny's going.
Looking back now across the valley I'm going to follow up these steps And there's the steps And the path that we came up Right, we're at the top of them stairs now and you can see all the way down for the valley there's the railway and just in the distance is Newton Dale Halt where we stopped and had our cup of tea go up the steps to that gate and then we're up onto the moors Back over that way, Skelton Tower. Stunning. bit of background about the uh, steam engines of the North Yorkshire Moors Railway. Uh, Stuart mentioned it earlier on in his, his video. Um, the two engines that you've seen today are both British Railways 1950s vintage. Uh, they're known as standard locomotives. The idea of the standards was to incorporate the best features of the what were the big four, the LNER, the LMS, the GWR and the SR Southern Railway um, standards were as advanced steam engine wise as we got in this country um, the for ease of operation, the efficiency which at the time in the 1950s that was important and um, the first one is known as a standard 4 and um, that's a power output so something that pulled heavy freight trains was like a 9F and um, so it was like a mixed traffic medium powered locomotive 
76079 is its number, it's got a tender, so that's where it carries the coal and water. Um, owned by the railway, it's fitted with all the necessary equipment to run on network rail also, runs to Whitby. The second loco is 8136, that's also a standard 4, but it's a tank engine and it carries its water inside tank, say the side of the boiler, and it's got a bunker where it carries its coal. So it gets a bit confusing, they're both standard 4 locomotives, but one's a tender engine, one's a tank engine, but they were, they were built primarily to do the same sort of work. The tank, standard tank engines, four of them were shedded at Whitby during the 1950s when they were brand new and they'd be seen on the coastline up to Middlesbrough through Sands End, the coastline down to Scarborough through Robin Hood and Robin Hood's Bay and Ravenscar and also working over this line also down to Malton just on short two or three coach suburban trains. Um, I think that's about it for now. I don't want to go into too much detail. I'll uh, hand you back to Stu. and the fence and you're right so when you've got to the end of the path you'll see this side and this gate here and this is the gate we want to go down and start heading down the hill back towards Leversham and the railway there's Johnny down in the distance. If you look over here, that road down there, we walk along that road, direction, one big oval route. Go through the gate and onwards. Once you're down towards the bottom of the hill, you're going to come across this gate while we cross the railway. Naturally, check it's clear first. Look both ways. Yeah. 
So that's us back at Levisham station where we started. It's bye from me. It's bye from him as well. See you on the next one.